we are living in the age of awakening. What that means is that it is time to release technology, know-how, wisdom, research, funds to those independent developers around the world who have been diligently working in their garages, in their home labs, networking as a separate entity underground to develop free energy and healing technology. I'd like to thank Singular University, especially Patty Rangel, for inviting me to speak to you today. I've been asked to present a concept called the Center of Mass Creation. This is a research and development facility focused on three areas, free energy, healing technology, and what I call cosmic awareness. In 20 years of my research, the different solutions in magnetics, light, water, electrochemical, all of the different kinds of energies that we understand, gravity, weak force, strong force, and more and more quantum energy, they're all related. So the same things that make your body regenerate, that infuse your DNA with more information to activate codons that were previously asleep, is the same technology that gives us what's called over-unity power. It gives you back more than you put in. So the plan for the Center of Mass Creation is to present a platform for diligent research in advanced methods that integrate creativity. Because the first shift that occurs in your mind when you get in front of free energy is that all around us, every square inch of air right in front of us has enough power to run the planet for an entire day or even an entire year, depending on how you use it. The Center of Mass Creation opens up the platform with 12 different laboratories integrated and generate what I call engines of mass creation. That is the product. So other laboratories of the Center of Mass Creation, we have the Water Lab, where we study water as a storage mechanism for information, as an amplifier of thought. We also have a magnetics lab. This lab studies spectral magnetics. That means we just don't have magnets of polarity, positive and negative, but we also have magnets that are prisms of electromagnetic spectrum. So imagine tuning a magnet to different frequencies depending on intention. One frequency affects time, another frequency affects space, another frequency moves electrons and multiplies their activity, help makes them jump orbit. So one particle becomes another particle of a different element of matter. We also have a light laboratory. This would have laser lighting, natural lighting, and artificial organic lighting to study light as an energy source, as an information computing device, the quantum aspects of light that interrelate in our consciousness. We also have a sound resonance lab. This is a space to understand frequency, interacting with waves, together forming resonance at different octaves. This can be done with magnetics, can be done with light, can be done with sound, smell, pretty much any modality. We jump into the 4D media lab. This is quantum media that is fractal and holographic and transdimensional. You go into a space that is infinite in all directions, that transforms your body, that inspires your brain waves while you are immersed. This would be a laboratory that studies the efficiency of geometries to create small handheld devices or large structures that we can step inside of. And one of them that we are working on is called the Hypercube Resonator. This device of multidimensional media. We also have an integration space called the Event Horizon is a sound stage like in Hollywood that you can step into and integrate technology from all 12 labs. So maybe you want to integrate water technology with crystal energy. Crystals are the key element in free energy. They're also a key element in healing. How interesting. Each lab in the center of mass creation would have a computer that is based on the same technology 
as each lab. So for example, the water lab has a water computing device. The light lab has an optical core light engine. The magnetics lab would have a magnetic computing device. So would the sound resonance lab and the crystal lab. Imagine a crystal computing device that can use entire lattices to store information and retrieve it. Not to mention our communication with Earth computing devices, like the ocean, like air, space. The plenum in space is a computing environment of rich information. The Center of Mass Creation is also a teaching facility to shift the minds of physicists and scientists and engineers around the world who truly want to understand how this works. It is also a corporate retreat environment that immerses decision makers and politicians and our leaders to understanding what is it going to take for us to be able to be sustainable in a peacetime economy. So the center of mass creation, first rev, designed to put out the first six laboratories that are listed right here. $12 million initial footprint, six months development time, and we can have prototypes of products that can be put out on the market within that time. Second phase of the center of mass creation, $144 million. That would be the second set of labs. What we get is the ability to transform entire nations into free energy. So if the US, for example, is not quite ready to disrupt its industries, then we can approach countries like Japan that I bet you right now are ready to listen to free energy. The research and development facility of the center of mass creation will attract the reverse brain drain of geniuses that right now are ready to collaborate. Patty, thank you. Singularity University, we're ready. Let's make this happen.